knitting short rows, the basic technique. Hi, I'm Alexis Winslow, and I'm going to show you how to use short rows in your hand knitting. Short rows often intimidate knitters, but there's no need for that because it's actually pretty easy. Short rows are used as a way to add shape to a flat piece of knitting. You might use them to turn the heel of a sock, add shape to a collar, or to make a sleeve cap. Here's an example where I've used a contrasting color of yarn to make a short row. You can see that a short row is really just that, a section of stitches that doesn't quite go the whole width of the row. Now, let's say I want to make a short row on this piece. The simplest way is to just stop knitting before you get to the end of the row. Then, simply turn the work around. Start knitting in the other direction like this. The problem with this method is that it leaves a small hole at the point of that turn. You can see down here, I made a short row, and this is what the hole looks like. Kind of ugly, right? But don't worry, there's an easy fix for this. To prevent this hole, you need to make what is called a wrap around this adjacent stitch. You do this right before you turn the work. Wrapping the stitch makes it hug the side of the short row. It closes up that hole. So let's try it. Uh, so now I'm at the point in my knitting where I want to turn and make a short row. But before I do, I will create a wrapped stitch. Here's how you do it. One, slip the next stitch to the right needle without working it. Two, move the yarn between the needle tips so it's on the opposite side of the work. Three, slip the unworked stitch back to the left needle. Four, bring the yarn back to the other side. You can see the wrap stitch here. Now I'm ready to turn the work and create my short row. When viewed from the right side, the wrap looks like a nice, neat horizontal bar at the base of the stitch. See, that wasn't so bad, right? Short rows are super useful and you should definitely learn to love them. I know I do. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified when new knitting tutorials become available. Thanks for watching.